Ladies and gentlemen, thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of GOW, the Generation Wrestling Podcast. As always, it's yours truly, the 29-year-old piece of gold, the franchise, a.k.a. the showstopper, better known as the GOW's resident tribal chief. And with me, as always, I got my tag team partner, my brother, my family. He is the flash in the room, Mr. One, Two. Three, pin that ass down, K Breezy, aka East's resident Isaac Hayes, King Two Gold in the building. Bro, what's good? Man, <clears throat> trying to get over this head cold, but other than that, man, I'm chilling, man. Uh, sitting here watching a little wrestling, uh, you know, enjoying, you know, somewhat of this day that it has been crazy. Uh, but what's good with you, man? Uh, what's, 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 what's been popping? Man, bro, not a damn thing, you know, just like you. You know, watch a little bit of Rass and a little bit of this I.E. Dubsky. And, uh, yeah, man, you know, right before we went on the air, we said, you know, Tony Khan been in this bag. You know, Tony Khan's showing out these last couple, you know, dynamites, man. Tony Khan been like, man, look, I hear y'all talking online. I hear y'all I hear y'all saying I can't do this, you know, week before pay-per-view TV stuff, man. So he came out here and he gave us a pretty good damn match card, not only tonight, but then we eventually find out more matches on Forbidden Door. But I'll let you get into that because Forbidden Door looking like it's about to be on like a pot of neck bone. But my man. boy, man, talk to the people. What's going on tonight? <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, what's going on tonight? What's going on tonight, man, is one that we got a AEW world title eliminator match. Yeah. MJF versus Adam Cole. Yes. Not going to lie, man. The crowd was – they were definitely – they were definitely into it. The, they, they, the match went back and forth. It, 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 it had a couple of, ugh, eh, it kind of had a you know, moments for me, but for the most part, uh, MJF risking body of limb, jumping off the top rope to the outside, yeah. putting Adam yeah. Cole through a table, uh, you know, and just, you know, just the back and forth that they were given. The ending was a bit shaky. It was shaky. Uh, what's going on, chat, man? It, it, it was a bit shaky. I'm not going to lie. Uh, but Adam Cole not winning and not losing and it ending in a um, in a in a uh, time limit you know draw. Yeah, I'm not mad about that uh, because honestly, you don't want to see MJF beat Adam Cole. But <clears throat> even though it's a non-title match, you don't want to make it the obvious that Adam Cole will beat MJF. Mm-hmm. And that means M- M- MJF will win the next. It's like you you don't right, want to right, get that right. kind of prediction about it. So it's like I you 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 understood. People might not have liked it, you know, yeah. But uh, you still keep both men strong. And now that we've seen we've seen round one of this, we know we're gonna get a round two. Especially after Forbidden Door happens. Oh time, yeah. We know we're gonna get a round two. But uh, other than that, man, what did you think of the match, man? It's right now we got the. BCC going up against the elite in the main event. Yeah, dude, I, 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 I'm going to put it like this, dude. I felt like this match alone was a pay-per-view quality match. And I I, I will go on, you know, on, on record. Four minutes, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and I will say, man, like this, like with, like you said, towards the end, it kind of got a little watery. Um, But overall, I feel like the match as a whole, man, to me, I, I'm going to get a match of even four. I'm going to give it a four out of five. Um. Was there some things that could have, you know, like eh, whatever. Uh, but I, but I did like the homage, man, to Eddie. You know, uh, this is one of those spots that you know you see it quite a bit, and it's like, eh, mm, no, whatever. Yeah, you did it. But this one, I like it because it was funny. Because just when you thought Bryce Rensburg was about to catch Adam Cole, like, damn, that's how he about to lose. My boy just fell back down. And they're like, oh, wait, hold on. We ain't seen that one before. <laughs> right. Right. Oh, oh, wait a minute. That backfired real quick. Yeah. <laughs> and, bro, like, literally, you cannot write this any better. He was literally at two and three quarters, bro. As soon, yeah. as soon as, you know, the Rensburg's hand was about to come down for that third, you know, that third count, the bell rung. And in my mind, bro, WWE got me so brainwashed. I honestly thought screw job. I'm like, who the hell run that bell? <laughs> and why the hell? Why, who came? Yeah, who came out? The, no, that, no. They, yeah, and, and, and then it's like, okay, it's a 30 minute time limit. My ass is so invested in the match, bro. I forgot all about the time limit to begin with. So that's why the you whole thing about called me off guard. Because AEW sticks to those things. They they tell you it's a 30 yeah. minute, it's a 20 minute time limit, 30 minute time limit, uh, but you 50 know, minute time limit. They tell you that, and they and it's always been true 
since day one. When that time, when that bell ring, when that when that bell ring and that time limit expires, yeah. uh, it's a draw. Uh, it, 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 we've seen it. We've already seen it in AEW. They've done it uh, not too many times, but we've seen it on a nice handful of times. Hey, they stick to it. So it's the one few things that they actually stick to. Right now, we got a boot to face party going on right now in the ring. I'm pretty sure I know the answer. But I'm just curious when they have like those 20 minute time limits or the 30 minute time limit or for the uh, for the championship the 60 minute time limit. I want to know in reality, right? Like, I mean, I, I know TK's in the ref's ear doing the countdown and all that, but I want to know how much of that is him. Like, hey, y'all, if y'all feel like y'all got 30 minutes worth, take the full 30, and if not, you know, go ahead and call it. And I, you know, restructure the show how I got to do it. Or if it's like, hey, man, look, y'all about to go 30, we're just going to say it's a time limit. Like, I, I want to know how the, the, does, does, like, the inner workers of that work? I mean, well, I mean, if you, well, yeah, that's that's, <clears throat> that's true. We'd like to hear that, too. But just for the uh, instance of this match, it, 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 it went about 30 minutes. I mean, yeah. you know, it was about two or three minutes for the intro. And then they started. And then yeah, yeah, yeah. it went up. So it's like, you know, you, you can... Now, do you want to question if they were a second or two off? Sure. Right, right. Oh, yeah, right. you can, you can, you can question that. <clears throat> I, you most definitely could question that. Uh, but uh, it, 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 it went most of the distance. But yeah, it was yeah. more of the story of, hey, uh, he, he just he was just this close. He 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 didn't beat him, mm-hmm. but he didn't lose. Right now, yeah. man, if we got Moxley choking out one uh, brother. We got Claudio beating down on Hangman. We got Nick coming off the top rope. Claudio's tossing people out the ring. Man, these boys are going crazy. Next up, man, they got this the CM Punk promo for Saturday. Uh, of course, we're going to see him in a six-man tag match with FTR against uh, Bullet Club Gold and Samoa yeah. Joe. We got uh, Sammy Guevara com- <clears throat> coming out. Uh, you know, basically, you know, first first interview since um, Double or Nothing, since the title match. And, uh, ooh, knees to the gut. Oh, super face, uh, super face, super kick. <laughs> uh, and then we got uh, Darby Allen that came out, and you know he asked, you know, Sammy, hey man, are you what's good? Are you are you back to the side of people liking you, or are you still gonna be that douchebag that you always are? Right, right, and right. Then of course we got Jericho, and then Jericho, you know, questioned Sammy on why he didn't call him, but then Sammy questioned the same thing. Then that led to Sting, and I, a whole bunch of other stuff happened. But basically, it's setting up the little sex gods versus mm-hmm. Sting and Darby Allen. Not really mad about that. As Hangman Page and the Elite just picked up the victory over the BCC. Uh, real quick, bro. What did you think of this, man? Are we seeing a defection of Sammy Guevara to, uh, from Chris Jericho? Is this now time for him to yeah. step away truly from Chris Jericho and to really be on his own? Yeah, I mean, because let, let's be honest, man. Before Sammy, well, no, Sammy was kind of always with, with Chris Jericho. He was with the Inner Circle on night one. But the thing is with Sammy Guevara, man, like he's been doing stuff on his own in certain matches, TNT championships and things like that. But he hasn't really had the chance to really just thrive as Sammy Guevara, being Sammy Guevara. There's always Sammy Guevara part of Inner Circle. Sammy Guevara part of, you know, the sex guy, Sammy Guevara and the JAS. So, you know, uh, right now it's clear that they're trying to push Sammy Guevara in a babyface direction. And to be fair, they tried to make Sammy a babyface when he came back right after that whole Sasha Banks thing. Uh, Eddie Kingston? What? I ain't seen Eddie Kingston on AEW in a minute. Yeah. He must be going after Claudio. I don't, we we about to find. I'm about, I'm about to look at it right now because I I seen your face. I'm like, what the hell did you just see? Oh, he just bitch slapped him. <laughs> he just bitch slapped Will, uh, Will or Yuta. So, so, damn, I, man. so I don't know, are we getting this on on the AEW program? Or are we gonna get this at Forbidden Door because I wouldn't I mind seeing this say, at Forbidden uh, Door. This might be Forbidden Door. Oh damn! Oh oh oh, Moxie! Oh oh yeah, I forgot about them being boys. Uh oh. Um, Damn. He pulled them off of him. He pulled them off of him. My boy Kingston. He pulled them off. Hey, he said, hey. I, 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 I. My boy, my boy Kingston with the Hulk Hogan Uh-oh. red and yellow. Take a shitter coming out. Uh oh. And he just hit, he just hit Kingston. 
All right. Oh, now he now he's fighting. Oh man, hold on, man. Where Omega at? Okay, where Kenny at? I know Kenny about to come out. Oh yeah, you know you where man. Kenny he better come out. He better. You know Kenny about to come out. I, I shenanigans got to going. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh oh. Uh -oh. oh, here he come. What are you doing? Here he come. Yeah, I, I, I see take a dookie right there. Take, take a dookie. <laughs> take a dookie in the field. <laughs> Kanosuke, take a dookie. V trigger. I'm not going to lie. I can't wait till they pull the trigger on his ass, man. He going to. I hope he keep that momentum going. Who that? Uh, uh, take a booty. Take a, I'll take it. <laughs> Come on, dude. Stop making me laugh. <laughs> <She's stupid. laughs> She's stupid. Doug says AW 9.0 tonight. Hell yeah. Oh, he hey, says uh, this Saturday, one hour, two hours. If I'm not mistaken, I think uh, two Collision is two hours. Two hours. Yeah, two hours. Two hours. Two hour show. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Which I'm not and... mad at. Damn. Uh oh, off spray. Off spray's in there. Oh. Okay, Willie. yeah. See Tony, yeah. See Tony reaching in that bag, man. Really, boy. Hey. Once again, see Tony's reaching in that bag, man. This is, this is, this is storytelling of building, building a match. Bro, you only got one more up. week. Tony Khan said, "Hold on, I gotta, no, no, I gotta, no, no, I gotta, no. I gotta pull the record." Ooh, ooh, elbow right to the grill. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, buddy. And Brian Danson just sitting back watching. Damn, that was a mean kick to the face by Osprey. Shit. No, that wasn't a kick. That was an elbow. He bowed that boy. Are you talking about the first one? Yeah, he yeah, when he first slid in the ring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'm going to say that now. He about to deliver the elbows beautifully to that boy Grill. Oh, Straight to that boy God, Grill. bro. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Damn. Uh-oh. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Oh, I ain't I ain't never seen nothing like that before. It's, it's, it's getting nasty. It's getting nasty, baby. Yeah. Ooh, that was yeah. Amazing. What I, what's the name of that finish? Uh, a, a what the fucker? <laughs> uh, 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 yeah, that's that's basically what the that's basically what that was. Oh, I mean, oh, okay. It was weird because it's like a cutter pile driver. But he, but he DDT. twisted with, but he twisted with him like, he, yeah. he twisted with it like, and and I mean, I, that oh that looks yeah. neck breaking yeah. like that yeah. that looked at yeah. really like hey that oh. was hey that was El Nastio, <laughs> man, yeah, Will Osprey that was real that was real spicy that was that was real spicy right there, and that was a. Uh, I mean, it's cool that the elite got the victory, but man, no, don't, don't, don't let me find out. Will Osprey gonna be a BCC or oh, Jason? He ain't done. He ain't done. Wow, one more to the back of the head. He ain't Ooh. done. Give him one more. Now he's leaving the ring. Damn! Look at the BCC cheering that boy on. Like that's my. I God. mean, of course, man. Hey, that's what I want to see next. After I watch Ooh. Will Osprey versus Kenny Omega, Ooh. I want to see Brian Danielson versus Will Ooh. Osprey. Go ahead. Bro, we got Will Ospreay, we got Jay White, uh, we got Miro coming up. back. Uh, this, finish right here. this is about to be here. phenomenal. This move is devastating. But, man, I, I give it to me, man. I want to see that. I yes, see sir. That, man, man. Uh, that was a wild finish. We're going to have to get back to that finish, man. We're going to get back to what's going on in the show, man. Yes, sir. All right, yes, man. Sir. Sonata, the IWGP World Heavyweight Champion, mm -hmm. sends out an open challenge that will get later later on by Jungle Boy. And then, of course, man, we got the Mongo. Uh, Empire, uh, the uh, uh, the Mogul Embassy, Mogul Embassy, yeah, I was yeah, gonna yeah. say the Mogul Empire, uh, the Mogul Embassy, uh, I was thinking of that video game, Ugh. yeah, that was that was nice, I like that. I, I, I had to rewind that uh, footage again. Um, they went on, they went up against Sting, Darby Allen, uh, Keith Lee, who shaved the old man beard, uh, <laughs> and then of course, man, you got the AEW International Champion, Orange Cassidy, not a bad yeah. match, uh. You know, Sting held his own, you know, for what it's worth. Pretty good match. They ended up winning. Um, mm -hmm. And then, of course, man, we got the Gun Club. They come out. They, uh, they're challenging the Hardy Boys. 
for next week. They want to prove they're the best brother tag team in wrestling period. Uh, then, of course, we got uh, Warlow defending his TNT championship in the open challenge against Jake Hager, who came out busting that boy in the back of the head with that favorite hat of his. Um, which I was, you know, I didn't think he would treat that hat like that and do that. That was, <laughs> I was very shocked that he did that. Uh, <laughs> you can hear the sarcasm in my voice right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> but uh, Warlow ended up winning. But then we ended up getting uh, Luchasaurus accepting the open challenge for this Saturday. So we're going to see Luchasaurus versus Warlow uh, or Collision. So not only will we get CM Punk in the six-man tag, we're going to get this also. Uh, I don't even know what the rest of the card is going to be for that show. I haven't really seen him announce anything outside of uh, things right yeah, now. I, I think that's it. Uh, Tony Conley, he ain't really announced a whole, whole lot. It's just been a whole bunch of CM Punk promo. And, of course, you know, right. you know that's really what it's been about. Well, we know Punk going to take the first 30 minutes of the show. Oh, he's yeah. He already said he got something to show. say. Right. So we know that's going to happen. Uh, so we'll see what happens from there. Uh, <clears throat> and then, of course, hold on. Yeah, then, of course, uh, Tanahashi challenges MJF. Of course, MJF turns it down like it ain't nothing. But then again, we already saw it's been made official. So then, of course, uh, Orange, uh, uh, Orange Cassidy was doing a promo, talking to Renee, and Zack Sabre Jr. decided to walk up and it looked like he was getting ready to challenge that boy for the championship at Forbidden yeah. Door. But then Daniel Garcia walked up and he was looking for um, uh, 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 Orange Cassidy's boy. Uh, uh, I forgot the right. You ain't, you ain't, pure you champion. Uh, 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 damn it. The pure champion. The the, RO, the Ring of Honor pure champion. Uh, <clears throat> let me say Odyssey. I, or, I, I forgot what he said his name was. I'm sorry. I don't know. You know, it's, I, yeah. But um, there's going to be a tag match next week. But I'm, I'm, they haven't made it official what Orange Cassidy is doing or what Zack Sabre Jr. is going to be doing. So we're not sure what, where that's going yet. Uh, then, of course, man, we got a, uh, Tony Storm, you know, after she didn't won the AEW Women's Championship coming out with another defense against Sky Blue. Hey, Sky Blue actually held her own in this match. I, I'm not gonna lie. That's uh, another. Sky that's Blue another one that's been improving a lot. Yes, I, no. She she really held her own this time. She actually hey, there was a moment where you know you kind of like oh it's gonna be obvious she's gonna lose, but she actually looked you know she looked good and she held her yeah. own and, and she surprised me. So uh, it was definitely good to see that. Uh, so I did enjoy that. Uh, of course, Tony Storm retained. Uh, but you know we got our girl Willow. You know she had to come out, so I'm Willow. not surprised we don't see her at Forbidden Door defending her championship right, along right, with Tony right. Storm going to Forbidden Door defending her championship. And you know again we don't yeah. even have the full car. We only got maybe four or five matches right now, and we're gonna talk about that a little later. Uh, then of course Jungle Boy, like I said, he answered Sonata's open challenge. He will face Sonata for the IWGP World Heavyweight Championship at Forbidden Door. Uh, then, of course, we got the tag match that we just ended up finishing watching, which was the Elite versus the BCC. The Elite got a little bit of revenge as they picked up the victory. But, of course, you know that doesn't come without some shenanigans at the end. So, bro, uh, just just to break it all down again, man, I mean <clears> – <throat> The combat club, the elite. The, obviously, this is this thing is not done. It's not over. Uh, it's far from over. Uh, so far, where it's gone. How do you feel about it? I'm entertained. You know, uh, if, there there was a there was a moment in time where I'm th- I thought, man, I'm done, dude. Like, I hope this don't go on forever. Uh, just because it's like we've seen this before. Uh, but the way they're doing it, the way it's being booked, the consistency of it. And just, you know, the way everything has been planned out, man, nothing is being shoved down nobody's throats. And I feel like, you know, the matches have been making sense. I feel like the stories leading into and following the matches have been making sense. And right now you have so many people. I mean, come on with the elite. You got the Young Bucks, you got Omega, you got Hangman. Bro, them four badass champions right there, them guys outside of this storyline together, solo, they gon' they they gon' they they gonna bring in stories on their own. Then you look on the other side, man. You got Hall of Famers and 
Moxley. You got Danielson. You got a future Hall of Famer in Claudio. And then you got a, you know, you got that young gun, Willie Uta. And then you bring in my boy Osprey. I mean, come on, who the hell saw that one coming? Uh, as, as far as him aligning with the BCC, now granted, it might have been because of who was in the ring, but still, it's like, who? I mean, which it was, it was more of just Kenny Omega. I mean, you know, everybody else had dipped out the way. So it was more just for Kenny to, to jump on Kenny, but yeah, Again, but just, you didn't but expect just, to see him this early. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking week, like maybe sure, next week. Not I'm like, this week early. Yeah, I'm like, I'm like maybe next week at the earliest. It's like, okay, then to see the way like the BCC was looking at it, they got Brian Danielson on the stage looking like the leader. Like, like okay, okay. And then it's, as, as a fan, it's like, okay, I know what this was for the moment. But much like Don mm-hmm. Callis and, 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 and Takesha, it's like, what could that be in the future? Because nobody saw Don Callis and Takesha in the moment. It was like, okay, Don trying to recruit him. Takesha wasn't on it. And then he came back like, what the hell? Okay. Mm-hmm. So it's like, bro, you never know where that can go. And especially with AEW, I will say this. I've said it a million times. You've said it a million times. The one thing I like about Tony Khan, we do say he starts and stops a lot of things. But when it mm-hmm. comes to storylines that he's invested in, he mm-hmm. always leaves nuggets to where if you don't finish it in that moment, it could be mm-hmm. six months from now. It could be a year or six months from now. There's going to be a match or a storyline or a situation that he's going to eventually tie that off with. So it's like, even if it don't happen now with Osprey, I can see it in the future. Then you also, you 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 make that tenfold because now you got Eddie Kingston coming back and then him and, him and Moxley. And they were at war against each other in AEW. Then they were best friends again. And then it's like their two tribes are going against each other. But even still, the, the, the brotherhood bond they had didn't allow them to go against each other. And I'm like, oh, okay, you got something in that one. So it's like, is Mike's going to go this way? Is Kingston going to go this way? Or are they going to go back at it? We, I don't know. So, bro, chef's kiss, man. This, this, this Tonight was very well executed. Yeah, I, everybody came out at the right moment. And yeah, you had a surprise after surprise after surprise after like, a legit damn, surprise. Tony. And 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 most people probably think, ah, this was too much. I think this was just perfect. <laughs> nah, hell yeah! Again, this is forbidden door. You're, yeah. you're setting up everything that's going on. You're you're he's keeping his rivalry of his show mm-hmm. while integrating a rivalry of another show, yep. and then and then then adding on. A rivalry from another show, yeah. and it all blended yeah. in the right moment. Yeah, and, and, that, and that's really what it comes down to. It's the moment and how the moment goes. This happened after a match. Okay, the elite win, the BCC going to rampage. Then all of a sudden, here come Eddie Kingston. Eddie Kingston apparently got beef with Claudio. Maybe he wants that Ring of Honor championship because I know Eddie's been on Ring of Honor doing his thing over there. So maybe he's going after Claudio for that. All right, cool, no problem. That's what he come down for. But obviously, Moxley being in the group and yeah. Kingston being his boy, so therefore mm-hmm. there was that interaction. Then, of course, that's going on. You got the elite coming back in, but then you got Takesha coming down, and then he's causing he's causing his little mayhem. But obviously, he's causing mayhem against the elite and Kenny Omega because Don Callis. And then, right, of course, right, here right. comes Kenny. Kenny does what he do, and then here comes Will Ospreay, and then Ospreay finishes it off. Uh, yeah, man, I'm not mad about none of that, man, because that's going to flow into everything that's going on for the next couple of weeks. So, yeah, cool. I'm, I'm not mad. And then, honestly, it just adds more to the pay-per-view because now when we think about the pay-per-view and they, when the matches that they just announced and added, I mean, we already had Offspray versus uh, uh versus Kenny Omega. We mm-hmm. already had Brian Danielson versus Tanahashi. Is it Tanahashi? I can't. Wait, wait, wait. Is it? Wait, wait. Brian Danielson is fighting... No, Tanahashi's fighting MJF. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, 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 Brian I thought you said Sonata, right? Son- no, no, Sonata's fighting Jungle Boy. That's what I'm yeah, yeah. see. Uh, <laughs> I try, oh, oh, to... uh, 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 God damn it. I, I know who he fights with. Damn, Brian Dixon uh, versus uh, uh, I, I, Tanahashi. I, 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 no, not Tanahashi. Tanahashi's fighting uh, MJF. What the hell? Tanahashi's oh. fighting MJF. Brian Danielson for Ben Dory, because I'm 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 losing my mind right now. I want to say uh, and, I, and when you sue me to say it now, I'm, I'm gonna feel stupid. Okada. 
or cop. God, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna feel stupid because I'm like I'm gonna feel stupid. Like it's Okada. Like you got that, and then of course, like I said, you got uh, Tanahashi versus MJF. You yeah, got yeah. Sonata going up against Jungle Boy, yeah. and that's all for the champions. Them all championship matches, uh, except for the uh, Okada and Brian Danielson. That's just what the title of the best wrestler in the world. Period. Uh, I'm not mad about what those matches are. Uh, as far as what's going on, I, I, and, and and that's not even all of the cards. So you still got time to set up things for next week, and 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 even what happened in the women, that's a great setup to add them to the card because you got the AEW championship. You have Willow who has the the strong uh, style women's championship, so you know you can have her defend that belt on the show. So you and then she could fight whoever, and you know, so you you got something for the women to do to come on and shine for Benton Door style, and so I'm 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 interested and definitely intrigued to see uh, what goes down as far as TK announcing. Maybe we'll find something out more this Saturday uh, with Collision, but so far, man, TK, I, I, I at least in my opinion, in my opinion, the last couple of weeks has been really good. I, I man, three, three and three and a half, three and a half star show. At least, at least I'll get the main I, with the main event. I'll give it a four with the yeah. with the opening match. I'll give it a four. Uh, just uh, it's just a solid show, and it's and it was building up to the pay per view, and we got a lot more. We got a lot more that got built up to the pay per view. No, no, man, absolutely. Like I said, man, tonight was a very, very fun night. It was a very entertaining night of uh, professional wrestling. I'm not mad at it at all, man. I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed myself. I know you enjoyed yourself, man, as we had the Wednesday night block party. I know you're not feeling too well today, so I'm glad, you know, you was able to muscle through it, man. You know, come on and hop on with me and the people. Uh, man, you know, you know, I just need to take a little medicine, you know, try to relax a little bit, but <clears throat> gotta get back up and do, you know, get back to business tomorrow, so it's all good. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, look, man, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, thank you once again for tuning in to another episode of GOW, the Generation Wrestling Podcast. It's always yours truly, the voice that get on moist, the people's choice, the 29-year-old piece of gold, the franchise, and across the way, as always, he is the flies in the room, smoother than the baby's ass on a stick of butter. He is EC's Wrestling Isaac Hayes, being too cold, and we'll see y'all when we see you. <laughs>